chapter 6 bending uh, uh, an example in moment calculation in, in, in 3D space let's see how we can approach our problem so in this problem we have a tensile force of T with a magnitude of 10 kilonewtons which applies at the top of a mast a rigid mast as you can see here and and the cable is connected from A to B and the tensile force is equal to 10 kilonewton which applies at A towards B mm -hmm. we want to calculate determine the Z component of the moment about Z axis passing through the base O so if there is a moment about point O in 3D space that's MO that goes by MXI plus MYJ plus MZK we are interested to know what MZK is so if we calculate moment about point O which is the origin and then take out the Z component of that moment we, we are done so let's see how we can uh, approach the problem uh, determine the moment MZ mm -hmm. determine the moment MZ of force T about Z axis passing through the base O in other words moment MZ is the Z component of, of a moment about point O which we already talked about that so let's see we already know any moment about any point for example O is just a displacement vector times force and because we are in 3D space is, is a cross product so R cross product F R is our arm displacement is the arm arm times force is the moment so our force is a tensile force in terms of vector that is a vector format that's a vector of t is a numeric value of t times normal from a to b in 3d space uh-huh so that's the numeric value of the force which is 10 kilonewton times the normal component of uh, those numeric values so that's the 12i which is here minus 15j a negative climbing down from a to b a negative 15j plus 9k in z direction over the square root of of some of the squares of them so if you do the mass it gives you t is equal to 10 numeric value times normal forces about uh, i j k, uh, k in, in in different uh, in, in 3d uh, directions so x y and c and the easiest displacement vector is a straight line which connects o the origin to the top of the mast which is the uh, lo location trajectory line of, of the force of, of tensile force of 10 kilonewton the starting point of the uh, tensile force so that says easiest r is displacement is just 15 j 0 to a is positive 15 j so moment about o is r cross product t force it just replaced from the top and 15 j it just comes from the uh, displacement from o to a so as soon as we know what moment about o is so moment about o is r cross product t and and also that's a 15 j times 10 times the normal for for the force and also from the cross product rule we do know that a that's a counterclockwise rotation goes by positive and then let's put it this way i j times i j times i is a clockwise that's a neg that's a 
negative k mm -hmm. because that's a negative uh, clockwise that goes by negative then j times j goes by zero j times j goes zero where is that we don't have any So then yes, j times j any 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 normal times the normal in cross product goes by zero. Uh, I was just searching that if I have that for you here or not. Uh, so then j times k, j times k is here goes by i. Mm -hmm. So that's i here. So mo m about 0.0 is 115. 150 times a negative k plus a positive i kilonewton times meter and the value of um, mz moment about z of moment mo is the scalar component of mo in the z direction and if you take that 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 just gives you the this production m O in k direction that's that's the, that's the in z direction that says mz is equal to negative 84.9 kilonewton meters and a negative sign it just says moment mz is just in negative z direction so if you put your thumb in negative z direction that just gives you the direct the rotation of your four fingers it just shows the moment about z so we can yet solve this problem in 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 easier approach and that's solution two so if you look at the problem one can easily say t goes into two components of tz and txy so this is t the tensile force it just goes by a t about z and a txy because tz is just parallel to z axis there is no moment it cannot exert or apply any moment about z axis because we need to have a distance between them mm -hmm. a vertical distance mm -hmm. so the only component of moment of z is uh, due to txy txy is just the, the, the one which creates the moment about point o and for having the moment we need a vertical distance that's d mm -hmm. and and if you want to calculate the cosine between the angles of of t which is here and txy let's call them for now theta that's cosine of theta it just goes by a square root of 15 square plus 12 square over 15 square plus 12 square plus 9 that's 12 plus 9 square plus this one is 15 uh -huh. and that goes by point, point 0.0906 and if you look at the let's make it a bit cleaner if you look at the triangle ATO A let's call this point t and o the moment arm is is the vertical distance in this triangle just goes by a sine of beta let's call this beta mm -hmm. in a t o that's a sine of beta is o t times 15 mm -hmm. And OT is our distance. So in that sense, OT is 15 uh -huh, times sine of beta. So if we already calculate this value, if we do know what OT is, we do have the arm and we have the vector, we can easily calculate the, 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 the uh, moment of, of 
z because that's the only force which creates moment about z axis so let's see if you look at this figure from a triangle aof which is at the top here o and if you call this point point part f sine of theta is also here mm -hmm. so that's a let's modify this part that's a sine of beta and that's sine of beta as well because we are just interested to know what sine of beta is mm -hmm. and this angle is beta if you observe to know what the sine of beta in this figure is that's just of over the hypotenuse and that's 12 which is this distance mm -hmm. over over what a square root of 12 squared plus 15 squared a square root of the hypotenuse is 12 squared plus 15 squared this this distance is 50. so if you do the mass it gives you sine of beta is equal to 0 0.6247 and then OT, which is the vertical distance, is just sine of beta times 15, mm -hmm, which we already calculated in the previous slide. It just says the vertical distance to calculate the moment is 15 times sine of beta, which we just calculate to be uh, point. Mm -hmm. So it just says. That's again sine of a beta sine of beta is OT over 15 and that's 15 times sine of beta 15 times you just replace the numeric value from here and that gives you a distance of of what 9.37 meters mm -hmm. again sine of beta is 12 over square root of 12 plus 15 squared which is 0 0.6247 sine of beta is ot over 15 uh -huh. and ot is our vertical distance mm -hmm. that's ot and that's a 15 times sine of beta and beta is this one and that gives 15 times 0 0.6247 which is the arm and mz is just arm times the force mm -hmm. so it just gives you the numeric value of of 84.9 kilonewton per meters yet you can solve it in a easier approach as well mm -hmm and that's that's just solution three and that's if you look at to the geometry txy itself txy itself can goes to two component of tx and also ty so ty just passes through o so exert no moment so you can cancel out txy and the only component of txy which creates moment is tx mm -hmm. so how that goes then the cosine between the t with respect to x axis which is tx is just 12 over square root of 9 squared plus 12 squared plus 15 squared and that gives you 0.566 and if you do the mass gives you tx is equal to 10 times that that's 5.66 kilonewton and mz is just 5.66 times 15 and it just gives you 84.9 so you can solve this problem in either of these three uh, solution thank you